Hey guys, it's Tim here, and welcome to the long-awaited episode 5 of our Tears of the Kingdom Let's Play. Yeah, it's been a while. I've, I've been busy with college and um, my summer job and stuff like that, but we're back now, and that's pretty much all that matters, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so where we left off, um, Link was uh, trying to get down to somewhere. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. How do, I'm gonna get down, but uh, so I think right now maybe I can just um, do this. Um, be nice if I had my paraglider. Um, but let's let's just see. What um, do I have to do? I mean, I could try jumping down, but then I lose a heart. see if there's a pond down there I might be able to reach. I don't know. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Oops, didn't mean to. Um, did not mean to fire that arrow, but uh, whatever. Right down to the water. Big splash. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's try and get ourselves um, back on shore. Hyrule Kingdom. Awesome. Oh. Ah, did I, some supplies just dropped from the sky? That's awesome. Huh. Let's see where it came from, though. Oh, no, it's not supplies, it's a rock. A giant rock. I guess we'll just keep looking around. Um, uh, let's remind ourselves what our objective is. Um, oh, special controls and stuff. That's that's cool. Special contains. Yeah, I can figure that stuff out later. Um, Alright, right now I'm supposed to. Find Zelda and the Kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, okay, there's where the objective is. I, I just kept going in that direction. Oh, shit, the monsters. Be careful. Well, maybe I can just fend them off. Let me just see. Nice, only two hits for that one. <laughs> Got some fangs and stuff. Apples, apples, apples! Woo! Alright. I know what's this year, um. I could make a boat of this, but I don't know if I really feel like it right now. Uh, oh, there's wheels. Like, well, actually, I could make a make a cart kind of thing if I wanted to. And it's probably a little complicated, so I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna head to the objective on foot. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Run 
one link run. <laughs> um, yeah, the landscape here is pretty, really cool. Stuff like that. I don't know how well you'd be able to see it on the camera. I, I would, I, I would lower the brightness, but I can't, I can't really uh, remember how to do it on that camera. So you'll just have to bear with what you see. Um, but hopefully, it should be enough. Um, and hopefully, next episode I can get. Um, I can, I can figure out the brightness to get have better sight get and stuff, you know. No, the most of you have played this game. A lot of you have probably mostly played played this game before, so you'll probably know what it looks like already. Um, but yeah. All right, still heading in the right direction, and ah shit, the monsters. I do I fight them or not? I don't I don't know. It's you no, know it's a little hassle, but I don't want, I don't want them to. I don't want to have them risk attacking me, I guess, so, um, let's just, I'll, you know, actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it, they, they, they can't see me, uh, and, uh, I can just, I can just get past them, yeah, and I can just get the objective faster. I wonder what exactly we're heading to, it's, Kinda looks like a shrine, but not quite. Let's find out. Oh, it looks intense there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Actually, no, they're not tents, are they? They're kind of more like uh, things covered in tarp. Like um, those kind of look like cinder blocks, or well, maybe not exactly. Maybe they're not exactly cinder blocks, but they they look a lot like them. Eh. All right. Let's try not to get distracted by the minor details and focus more on the task at hand. That's always the best thing to do. More freaking monsters. They can't see me. Or, or they're too stupid to see me. Oh, shit. Okay. Run the other direction. Looks like we're at, um... Huh. Some interesting structures here. It looks like we're at an old, uh... I don't know, a mining town or whatever it is. And there is the castle that is once again being controlled by Ganon's magical, magical shenanigans or whatever. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh, that's not the way. Um, saying go this way. Watch out for the spikes. Looks like we're about to enter a cozy tavern of sorts, or hotel, or lookout landing. That's hmm, that's pretty cool. All right. Open the door. Close this. Oh, this is one of the things I pray to. Huh. So instead, so instead of uh, those taller statues, it looks like big rocks. Or, I don't know. Uh, let's just see. Ooh, there's a book. Okay, it looks... Oh, and, and the objective's right at it, so I guess we have to read it. Alright, what do we... Let me get that. Um, no, we got time. We can... Let's, I can just read this stuff. Okay. Uh, read... Let's do the, um... Let's do the map first. If you scan the surrounding terrain using a Skyview Tower, you can register your or the map to your PuraPad. Additionally, you can travel instantly to the location of a Skyview Tower that you've already registered by selecting it. This handy instant travel to tra this handy instant travel to a registered location feature has been dubbed Travel by its clever inventor Pura. Hmm, that's a lot of dashes there. All right. Uh, Oh, the pictures. Open up the camera and point to the Pura Pad at your the Pura Pad at your desired target. Okay, I can um, I can I can basically I, I can basically figure that stuff out. I, I remember playing it in previous episodes. So, um, do so, and you can save the targeted scenery of your or form in your album as a picture. So just taking pictures. Additionally, the Pura Pad can provide provide data on Hyrule's ecosystem. That's good to know. Kind of like so. So I guess it, this um kind of the 
Hyrulean version of um, like iNaturalist, a, re a really cool app, um, a really cool like nature app that I would highly recommend for nature enthusiasts. The subjects reflected in a picture will be automatically identified, giving you the thrill of, of filling out your con compendium. Hmm. Alright, and now let's read about the adventure log. A record of information gained during your travels and things you shouldn't forget, which can be per pursued at any perused at any time. This information is organized into categories, so you'll have to select a category first. Select a category first. Highlighting knowledge. That's important. Um, oh my god, look at look at this. Look, Link is the lo-fi girl now. <laughs> Cause you know, cause the uh, the way it's the camera angle and the way he's looking at the stuff. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, looks like that's it for the book. Um, so let's just see. Who are these? Oh, wait a minute. Says this guy named Robbie. Well, what do you think you're doing? Tasha needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. Oh, okay, it's a mad scientist. Um, I'll get in big trouble if you do. Hey, hey, you! Where have you been? Robbie, head of Puripad development. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and that the princess disappeared. So what, is he Is he her dad or something? I, I don't know. Okay. Um, she's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go and, go see her and give her some some peace of mind, will ya? Alright, so... Alright, so... Alright, so basically, all this stuff is off limits. Okay, you know. What is this? Okay. So there's Robbie and. Oh, this other. Oh, hello, this guy, random guy named Anson. Uh, I don't know. Freaking no. Trust. Alright, so that's. That's fun. Hey you, I told you to talk to me later. For now, you should hurry up and tell, go to Pura. She's in the building with a telescope on the second floor. Alright, I'm going to see her, give her peace of mind. Uh, Alright, okay, you'll, okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. <laughs> um, wait, second floor, what? Um, buddy, this is a, this is a, this is a big fucking circle. Where's, oh, oh, there, oh, there's what the building they're talking about. Um, I think. There, that, that's the, um, there's this whole... This is huge tower that, um, so basically that's what this is, it's, uh, it's basically a little organization here, um, a little, a little camp or base or whatever it is, um, okay. Alright, um, guess I'm going through here. Oh, oh, is this one of those, like, elevator things? I guess I'll find out. If, wait, how do, how do I do it? How do I activate it? Or, no, no, I don't want to throw that, I can't, I want to... Bro, I gotta play this more often. I forget what the things do. The the powers do. Shit. Pure up, pure up, pure up. Okay. Well, unless well unless I can figure out how that thing works, I'm not getting up there. But you know what? I don't think I'm supposed to be up here anyway. Oh, Link, your back says Plessy. Oh, oh god, this characters. Um, you're back. I'm sorry if those things are different. Still missing. Yep. Okay, Plessy, you, you go ahead and just do your dialogue and uh, why did I why did I even press it? Why did I even press it? Okay, whatever. Um, well, it's a big relief you're back. I'm sure you have been doing that. Just let us know when you're done. Sure, get some rest. Yes, thanks. I could use to use a rest from your annoyingness or whatever. All right. Um, maybe she's up here. Maybe Pure's up here. Let's see. Nope. Don't get splinters sliding down the ladder, Link. Yeah. 
No, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a really nice little town here, or a really nice little colony, where I, 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 w I think, if I, if I had the motivation, I would build this in Minecraft. I 100% would try and build this in Minecraft. That's what the farmer, so I can bother with him. Old man, where do you mean? Oh wait, oh wait. Oh, maybe we should try and get back. Nope. Damn it. Nice little building up there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna go back in. It's Joshua, okay, or Josha, or however you pronounce it. Oh, oh, oh god, this whole, oh, oh, here we go, now we go. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Pura, head of Lookout Landing. All right. She seems very interesting. All right. See, it might take a second to load and the story. Oh, there we so go. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. Hello, all right. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, chased by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature, and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rolla. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice, and find your way here. Yeah, it sums it up really good, actually. All right. What? Then. What? Are you saying you can't come up there? Uh, yes, I did come up from there actually, and and yeah, I get I get I get your surprise. It's really fucking high up, even higher than One World Trade Center, I'd say. This, this Frau you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Are they all one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense. Yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Must be related to the upheaval? Okay, I... Hmm. Well, it'll be interesting to know what the upheaval is. Castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Hmm. No shit. <sighs> and then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure you that you heard the princess speak to you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure I heard it. And she gave you a clear message to find her. Yes. If, if that was truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Well, yeah, I would hope so. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Or maybe she's in another dimension, or whatever it was. Um, <laughs> that settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the, the search is named Haas? Haas? Oh, what we got the we, what we got the Hyrulean Wizard of Oz now? <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> um, work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yeah, I know that. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Linky. All right, we got more character profiles here. Highest authority here, um... Alright, I can always read this stuff. I can read this shit later. Um, main quest. Oh, nice. Main quest of that complete. Alright, um... I was gonna stop it after that, but I think I'll go, um... I think I might just go to the Hyrule Castle and do some of that... Do some of those, that stuff, and then I'll... Um, call an episode, maybe. Let's, let's just see. Right now, let's just focus on getting to the castle, which is dangerous given all the stuff, but whatever. Hyrule Castle Town Ruins. Okay. Get that cardio in for Link. Well, damn, this entrance is so huge. Man, look at this. You know, if, if this, if it wasn't in such, if it wasn't so ruined, I would, um, I would actually want to live here. Maybe not necessarily in royalty, but in general, living here would be really good. Like, central, like, this central square part, like, just look at it, it's so huge and memorized, mesmerizing, and, oh, would you look at that, another sh a shrine. Do I do this shrine now, or do I do it another time? Mm. Eh, I, eh, maybe, I mean, I guess I could do this right off camera, maybe. Hello, little, you know, I'm not, now I'm not gonna talk, I'm gonna have to waste the time with the NPC, I'm just gonna, think, I think for now I'm just gonna focus on the main objective. And then I can do the other stuff later. Alright, here we go. About to... Try and enter the castle. Maybe not get touched by the red stuff. Oh boy. Good god, the God, look at the size of those doors compared to Link. They, they are so huge. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I can't open the doors manu I can't open the doors manually with my hands, so it looks like I was have to. Yep, there we go. Huh, <laughs> Rosneo. Razino. <laughs> That's an interesting name for a knight. Um, hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. <gasps> Wait, Link? It's you? Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back. Does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Well, no, you idiot. We still need to find Zelda. Huh? You should go. You should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading the search efforts here at, from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it to, at the very end of this road. All right, Rosino, you enjoy enjoy standing there for the next several hours before your shift ends. God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I wish the screen wasn't so bright for you guys. It'd be nice if I could adjust the, the brightness on there. Again, I'll figure. I'll, fi I'll I'll probably have it figured out by the next episode. Alright. Supposed to be Captain Haas up here. 
Uh, nope, she is. I think. No, it can't be him. I cannot allow anyone past here. Uh, this, this area is restricted only to those involved in the search party for Princess in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. Wait, but the, but if the captain's in there, then I need to speak to him. Because you mean the first gatehouse up at the end of the road. Okay, so we're not there yet. Hmm. I could have sworn that was an entrance to his area or whatever. Gotta keep moving. If we're walking in the shade, you can see a few of the things better. First gay house. Okay, now here's where I'm meeting Captain Moss. Right. Who? Is that him? Hmm. Looks pretty young to be a captain. Hmm. Then again, everyone's. A, a lot of people seem pretty young in this game. Okay, no, that's not Captain, that's Kirpin. Okay. People, oh, oh god, another one of these stupid NPCs. Okay, explore many regions. Blah 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 blah. I found nothing. Blah 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 blah. Mm. Eh. Strength and weapons. Yeah, that sounds that sounds very useful. Okay, it's probably Captain's tent then. So, uh, Captain Hawes, where are you? Alright, I'm not sure where the captain is. I mean, I'm at the end of the road right now, so... I don't know, I don't know if there's anything I'm missing. Let's just see. Oh, these two be out. Oh, I must be up there. Well, you know, I think that's a good... That actually seems... This actually seems like a really good place to stop, so... Um, I'm gonna... So I'm, I think I'll just end the episode here, and, um... Yeah, good place to stop, so... So thanks for watching episode 5 of Tears of the Kingdom Let's Play. This has been Altamathius, and I'll see you next time.